Several families throughout Columbus share unimaginable heartbreak and would give anything for one more hug. Hundreds of lives lost to violence in Columbus in the past year. Good evening to everybody and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Carrie Charles. I'm Colleen Marshall. Columbus Public Health is trying to make sure victims and their families are never forgotten. NBC4's Eric Halperin shows us the new memorial that just went up this week, right, Eric? Colleen and Carrie, whether you are walking along or driving along Parsons Avenue, these flags are hard to miss on this fence. They go all the way down the block here, catching your eye. And that's the point. Columbus Public Health is hoping these will make people think about the toll violence is taking on the city. Black and red flags attached to the fence, waving in the wind outside Columbus Public Health. Each flag. Always trying to cheer people up. Loved, loved, loved basketball. Represents a life. He was a human being that didn't deserve to be murdered. A life lost to violence in Columbus in 2021. One of the flags is for Victoria Landrum and Mark Payne's 27 year old son, Marcus. They say he was always trying to make those around him better. He was shot and killed last summer. And he deserves to be walking around in the community. Another one is for 19-year-old Cameron Cates. His mom describes him as a helper. He was shot and killed last spring. I would take my son back in a heartbeat for those flags to not be here, um, just as all the other mothers feel the same way. Two of 204 homicides last year, 204 flags. The Columbus Care Coalition putting one up for each life lost as part of National Crime Victims Rights Week. The coalition supports families of homicide victims. Neighborhood Social Services Section Chief Marianne Stuckey says the memorial isn't just to remember the lives lost, but also the family members and other lives affected. To really make a statement that this is happening and uh, it's a type of loss that really requires, it requires healing and support and we really have to provide that for our community. The loved ones appreciate their kids' lives aren't forgotten, but wish the flags didn't have to be there in the first place. One is too many and that's a lot of flags. That it has to stop, enough is enough. And Columbus Public Health has recognized National Crime Victims Rights Week before, but this is the first time they've put the flags out here like this. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.